Hello everybody and welcome to the video. So today I figured I would sit down and I would keep the topic of Sword for Smash going on my channel and I would bring to you guys source potential stages for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate if he were included. Kingdom Hearts has so many different beautiful, amazing, and unique original worlds that could all potentially be candidates for Sword's stage whether or not he is in Smash Ultimate or not. So this video again is going to be about which stages I think may actually be Sword's stage if he were included in the game and I'm going to go over five of them. Now before I get into the video, I just want to quickly say that since obviously Disney is going to be very, very hard to include into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, let alone just letting Sora in, I'm just going to say that these are all going to be Kingdom Hearts original worlds. That basically means that I'm not going to be putting things like, you know, Neverland and Agrabah just because those are Disney properties and I just think that there is absolutely no way in hell that that will ever be a thing. So yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way. So the first world that I'm going to go over that could potentially be one of Sora's stages is Destiny Islands. There's no doubt in my mind that Destiny Islands is probably one of the, if not the most iconic world when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts series. It's where the story begins. It's where, you know, we get introduced to Sora and Riku and Kairi. And it's where we get a really good foundation for, uh, you know, where the game is going and who these people are. It's always been a fan favorite and everybody is just hoping that maybe in Kingdom Hearts 3 we can return and explore once again. Since we're on the topic of Destiny Islands, I feel like I would propose the potential idea of having maybe the dark side as like a stage boss. You know, like um, at the beginning where Sora is fighting the dark side and you know it's destroying Destiny Islands. That'd be really cool if there would be like this effect or like this you know change of scenery where it gets it's just starting to get like engulfed in darkness or whatever. Then the dark side pops up and just starts like punching on the stage or something. So you know you the player has to avoid it. And I just think that'd be like a really cool thing to do. So now the second world that I think has potential to be Sora's stage, if he were included in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, would be Twilight Town. The reason why I think Twilight Town is just obviously just a really great choice is because amongst the fans, I feel like, you know, Twilight Town is one of those places where it's very, very iconic. Again, much like Destiny Islands, it's where we began our journey in Kingdom Hearts 2 as Roxas. And Twilight Town has had such a big part and it's such a recurring theme throughout the series where I think that it is definitely iconic enough for it to make it as Sora's stage in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I just think it'd be really fun if we were fighting, I don't know, maybe atop the clock tower, or maybe in the struggle arena, or maybe even just outside the, the mansion. I think all those are definitely really cool spots that we could pick, but if it were up to me, I think I would definitely pick the clock tower, and even potentially, we could have maybe something like Final Boss Xion as, I don't know, like a stage, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I think that like Final Boss Xion would be a really cool thing as like a stage hazard, but again, I just think that something like Dark Side is a little more iconic and it represents Sora a little bit better. I think adding Final Boss Xion or something like that would definitely be a stretch. So now the third potential world that I think could be a stage for Sora in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate would be Radiant Garden. I personally would really, really love Radiant Garden if it were selected to be Sora's stage for Smash Bros. Ultimate, simply because there are so many different things that they can do with it. I mean, you could be fighting in the center, like um, Birth by Sleep, the center of this, um, when you first enter the world is, um, you know, just where a lot of the action happens. But just going back to like Sora's, you know, interactions with Radiant Garden, it could be like the Kingdom Hearts 2 variant where you fight the Thousand Heartless, which could potentially be a stage hazard. And I don't know, just things like, you know, the lift gates from Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, there's just so many different things that they could do with Radiant and garden however i think that might actually limit it again but again i mean i don't know having all those options could be a good thing but it could also be a bad thing maybe it's gonna be hard to decide or you know whatever so for the fourth world that i think has a chance to be Sora's stage in super smash brothers ultimate would be none other than the keyblade graveyard so this would be my personal pick if i had to select one just because i love the keyblade graveyard so much um it got introduced to us in birth by sleep which is one of my favorite games and although Sora hasn't necessarily been there yet, it's going to be a huge plot point in Kingdom Hearts 3. And, you know, I guess that could sort of work against it because since this game is coming out before Kingdom Hearts 3, I think introducing things like the new uh, Keyblade Graveyard without them showing it to us first would just be a little weird. And again, I think the only real thing that they could do that would be, like, unique is perhaps, like, you know, they have, like, Kingdom Hearts, like the giant moon in the sky shooting down beams of light or something as a stage hazard. I mean, these all these stages, they don't have to have stage hazards. I'm just trying to, like, you know, have more to talk about and just have more than just like a stage or something you know i just think it's fun but yeah the keyblade graveyard although i would love it so much and it definitely is possible i just think that with the way that it's been introduced to sora and you know all we know about kingdom hearts 3 so far i'm not entirely sure if that would be a good move on their part 
Okay, so the last and final world that I'm going to talk about when it comes to Sora's potential stage, if he were included in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, would be the Station of Awakening. Now, when I was talking about Destiny Islands, I'm aware that, you know, I said that this is where the journey starts and everything, but the Station of Awakening is truly where it, the game begins. You know, you're just this boy, and you don't know who he is, and you're thrown onto this, like, giant stained glass uh, platform, and you're not entirely sure what it is or, you know, where you are exactly. There's just so many different variations of uh, everybody's dive to heart, you know, the artwork changes, there's so many different, you know, p possibilities of what they could do with this, like, maybe it could be a thing where, like, you know, you're fighting on one, and then, like, there's, like, a flash of light, and then you go to somebody else's, like, Vens, I mean, it would just be really cool for them to incorporate something like that, but again, this, uh, just this whole Station of Awakening, the dive to heart thing, it's a possibility, but, I mean, I don't know. So yes, guys, just as a recap, I believe that the five worlds that could potentially be Sora's stage if he's introduced in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate would be Destiny Islands, Radiant Garden, the Keyblade Graveyard, Twilight Town, and the Dive to Heart. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know down below if you guys have another option. Let me know if you'd agree. Let me know if you disagree. Because there's so many different things that we could do with this. Perhaps, you know, things like the world that never was. But yeah, just let me know down below. Don't forget to like the video. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel for more Kingdom Hearts and Smash Ultimate content. Until the next video, I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.